Welcome back. Now, time for some actions. We'll run some tests and learn how to work around the execution lock viewer in Catalan Studio. Simply click on the Run button on the menu bar to execute this test case with Chrome as our default browser. You can also change it to another browser in UI or headless mode by clicking on the drop down icon on the side. Now, click to run the test. All right, our test is up and running. In Studio, under the Lock Viewer tab, every executed step is being displayed under a tree view on the left panel. You can click on each step and see the detailed lock messages on the right panel. The Lock Viewer is set up to always update you with real-time messages. It automatically scrolls down to show the latest executed steps by default. But if you want to stop this behavior, let's say to look at or verify a particular message, you can select Scroll Lock located at the top right corner here. Right beside is Tree View Toggle. The default display option of the Log Viewer. It gives a structural way to view how the test case or test suite is organized. You can switch it to the tabular view by clicking on the toggle. In this view mode, you can choose to filter the executed steps with these little toggles on the side. You can list out particular steps, pass, field, error, warning, or not run, according to your intention of viewing or troubleshooting. These filters are extremely useful when your tests have a lot of steps, which could give an eye pain when scanning through to troubleshoot or investigate problems. I personally prefer the tree view, due to its structure view and the ability to collapse and expand to see the detailed messages. To save time, let's skip to the part where our test is finished. Oop. Alright, back to the tree view mode. As you can see, the test failed at step 5. You can select these up and down toggles on the side to show the previous or next failure. Or click on the toggle at the bottom to show only failed steps. The other two toggles at the top will allow you to collapse and expand all the executed steps. That's it for the side menu. Moving up to this corner, we will ignore this eye symbol for now since it's for set suite collections. We'll get back to it later. Next, you can choose word wrap to make all the messages fit right into the panel so you can read them more easily. Last, you can minimize this whole section to have more working space to design your test cases. You can still see the log viewer or console by clicking on these options on the right hand side. And to have a better view for troubleshooting or debugging, you can maximize the log viewer or console to see all the activities and log messages more clearly. Speaking of console, you may wonder about the difference between this and the log viewer. While the log viewer shows only the report of the test execution itself, meanwhile the console shows more of a complete picture, which displays all the runtime activities while Canlon Studio runs the test. And in case you also wondered about the event log, it shows the activities of the plugins and integrations that are enabled for your test run and the runtime logs of Canlon Studio itself. Lastly, the self-healing part where all the broken object locators during test runs are listed out and can be quickly updated with just a few clicks. There's a separate course for this function. Make sure to check it out after finishing this course. That's all you need to know about the lock viewer to keep track of your test runs. In the next lesson, we're going to run some test suites in different modes and have a look at the reports in Canon Studio.